guys, welcome back to the voiceover vlogmas we have going on here. It's December 15th, and if you are unaware, I messed up. My mic was slightly unplugged while I was filming for, the, for several days, so that's why a couple of these vlogs are going to be voiceover vlogmas vlogs. Okay, thanks for uh, sticking in there with me, guys. I appreciate it. So, Basically what I'm saying here is I woke up with a cold, which is less than ideal around the holidays and I'm just hoping that I get better quickly so that I'm not sick for the holidays and I'm also not getting anyone else sick because no one wants to be that person. Even though I'm sick, I have a toddler that wants and needs to go outside and a dog who wants and needs to go outside. But first I made myself a little cup of tea. I <laughs> went in with the honey because there's no other way to do it. And the tea I'm drinking is a ginger tea and that's about it. And I also made myself a green smoothie, get my immune system just back and just up and running. So sipped on my tea. It was delicious, I can confirm. And then headed outside with my two baby girls. And we had a good time. It's absolutely freezing outside. So that's never fun when you have a cold. But I don't get to make the rules really right now because I would like her to be outside and just get worn out. Actually, both of them. So I say freezing, but it's actually not freezing. I'm from the north, and the north is much more cold than it is in the south, so really I can't complain too much. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm not having to have a snowsuit on right now to be outside. And then we are ready for dinner. I, here I am looking like a cute little pilgrim or something. I don't know what's happening here, but oh, I, was think, I think I'm trying to make my hair like wavy or something because my hair was wet and I put it in a braid. Anyway, I'm making some vegan ramen. So like a spicy, creamy vegan ramen. And when I tell you this was the best ramen that I've ever made, I think I followed this recipe before. Usually I don't follow a recipe and I just throw stuff together. Sometimes I'll follow a recipe. I did for this one, and maybe that's what I should start doing because this one was really, really good. Last time I made it way too spicy and ruined the entire thing, and it was so sad. I also found that the trick is to do the ramen noodles separate from the broth and all that because it just absorbs, if you put them together, it just absorbs, and then the noodles seem to kind of break up over time, especially if you store it that way. So I've just been making them separate, and that has been much better. And then my little sous chef and I were cutting up some tofu and I just put some of that in the air fryer. For some reason, she really likes cold tofu. I don't know. I just, I just am going to just let her live her life. It's not hurting anyone. I am still obsessed with my Wonder Oven that you see here. It does it all, guys. It really does it all. And it, it also is free entertainment for your toddler and your dog. Nala's literally in the middle of everything we're doing constantly, and it's so funny. She thinks that she's a human. I'm not kidding. All right, that was Sage's plate. I got her the tofu noodles, homemade hummus, and cucumbers. And then I let her try a little bit of the broth. I did not think she would want it because she usually won't do like a whole soup for some reason, but she loved it, so I ended up giving her her own bowl, and she ate the entire thing. Okay, what... <laughs> Clark uh, is entertaining Sage. She, I remember this, she was laughing so hard and she was doing it. And of course, when I turned my camera on, she stops. But um, yeah, they're, uh, they're a sight to see, huh? <laughs> All right, we are sitting down about to eat dinner and that's everything. Thanks for following along today. And here we are. Let's go right into the next day. Good morning. It's Vlogmas Day 16 now and I woke up feeling pretty awful so i wanted to make some celery juice for sage and i and then also to store for the next couple days typically you know fresh juice is always best but to juice every single morning sorry not happening in this season of life so i juice enough for the next few days and that is gonna just have to be good enough and <laughs> i got to have some sweet precious moments with my baby girl as i just tried to breathe and just not sneeze all over her so we had some blueberry waffles for breakfast and we just were gonna stay home today. I'm not feeling good, I don't need to go anywhere. So we ran around the house a little bit and then getting outside every single day is definitely necessary for a toddler, a dog, and then just as a human being myself, it's good to get outside and get some fresh air. Even though it's cold and I'm sick, I think just getting outside just helps to I don't know, feel, feel better a little bit, get my immune system 
to have some sunlight, even though it's cloudy, but you get my drift. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, we just played for a little bit and um, that's basically all that happened. And then this is me just complaining about being sick. And Sage and I tried to nap together and it did not go well and it made me really sad. We tried for like an hour. She almost was asleep and then I moved to grab my water and that kind of brought her out of her sleepiness and then she said she wanted water and then she was just a little wiggle room for the next hour and we 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 really tried but ultimately I was like all right it's time to go in your crib <laughs> we're done and then our plan tonight was to go spend time at the neighbor's house with the two little girls that are Sage's little friends and we were going to have a gingerbread man decorating party but with me being sick I'm not going to go to somebody's house especially with children and I don't want to pass this along to anyone so we decided to just stay home and do it ourselves and i told sage that this was all decorations and that the icing was like glue or paint and this was just decoration not food and she she listened she doesn't know what candy is and i don't want her to know however she did lick <laughs> the gingerbread man several times but she did really good just decorating it and i don't know this didn't take very long because the toddler's attention span is just not long at all and then i just pushed her around in this little box which she was giggling so hard and just had the best time and it's funny because i told her this stuff was decoration because i didn't want her eating the candy and all of that and then like 20 minutes later i look over she climbed up on the chair got the gingerbread man and gave all the candy to nala fed it to nala i caught her in the act and she was biting into the gingerbread man trying to get a bite which i thought was just hilarious so kind of a fail on my end but you know she didn't eat all the candy so i guess that's good <laughs> nala did though so anyway that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next vlogmas video bye guys